guys, I hope you're doing well. I am back here today with a pretty spicy deck. Now, this is nothing new. At first, I wanted to give the Syndicate Poison list a try because I was so tired of playing against it all the time myself. And I thought, well, if I give it a shot, at least I'll be able to predict when somebody else is playing it. So I know when to go for the 2-0 or go for a bleed instead of giving them a long round. Well, I came up with this list and so far I have won almost every game. I'm not surprised though, it's a really strong list. It's actually super fun to play. And I think most of you might not have given this a shot yourself. You're just playing against it and getting frustrated. Well, now, now it's your turn uh, if you want to. I'm going to explain to you how this deck works. And if you don't want to play it yourself, perhaps you can at least see the uh, telling signs that somebody else is playing it against you. Alright, so this deck works with a pretty simple premise, and that's that we're going to play this little boy, the Salamander. So it gives you one coin, and on the deploy it will poison a unit of your choice, which is pretty cool. Now, with tribute 9, meaning you pay 9 coins, you will poison all units on the battlefield instead. So the profit is also increased by 1 for every other Salamandra unit you have. Uh, we have some. But for now, let's just focus on how this card works. So it will poison all units, including your own. All right, so this is pretty important. Now, why would we want to do this? Well, uh, it's because of this little card we have called a Roland Blainheim, one of the two Blainheim brothers. Whenever a unit gains poison, this card will gain two points. So let's say the entire board is packed with cards and let's say you have at least 20 cards that are poisoned you will then gain 40 coins, of course, and Roland will be getting all of the boosts because we are playing jackpot. Now, jackpot means that any coins that are extra that you gain on a card will turn into points instead if your pocket is already full. So you will be getting nine coins with this leader ability once you click on it. And then any other coins you get will attribute to boosted points on the card that is giving you the coins. So essentially, you want to get into a long round. You want to then protect Roland by playing Azar. Azar has profit three, and for tribute three, he will spawn two scarabs. Now, scarabs are your defenders, and two of them uh, can sometimes be difficult to pick off. Now, they're even more difficult to pick off if you give them boosts. Now, I'll tell you how to do that later. So you want to play your defender, you then want to play Roland, and your final card should be the Salamander. The Salamander will then poison everything on the board, Roland will get a bunch of points, and if you play correctly, you'll even be poisoning some of your opponent's cards for the second time. So you want to start uh, poisoning the highest cards on their side of the board only once, because you're going to play the Salamander, hence poisoning them a second time. So you've got Fistic that poisons a unit and gives you four profits. We've got two of those. Then we have two Fistic Traffickers, which will give poison to a unit. If it's one of your own cards you're poisoning, you'll get three coins. We also have Salamandra Hideout. Now this card will spawn one of these and play them. Normally we go for the Salamandra Abomination. The Salamandra Abomination will poison itself for one coin. And whenever it is poisoned, it will boost itself by two. When you have six cards left in your hand, it will purify itself. Now, the order ability allows you to move poison from an allied unit to another unit. So, if you can, you can always click on the Salamandra Abomination with the order ability, and then ping an enemy unit, placing the poison on that instead. So, at the end of a long round 3, how it should look is that all your opponent's biggest cards has one poison on them already, maybe two or three of them. And then when you play Salamander, those three cards will actually get their second poison, hence dying. Alright, so what's next? Now, we have King of Beggars. King of Beggars has been nerfed. Its counter is now 12 instead of 9. Meaning you have to use 12 coins worth of tribute abilities before it comes out. That doesn't really matter. It's still very strong and very much OP, so you're gonna love playing it. Now, while in deck, whenever you play a tribute, this card will remove a counter for each coin paid. So, when it reaches zero, it will pop out of the deck and you'll be able to use it as a spender. Also, every tribute you pay for gets refunded immediately. So, how does that work? 
Normally we used to play Savola with this card and we still have it. Savola will be able to use a tribute of 9, meaning you have to pay 9 coins. It will then spawn Savola's Frightener, which is 12 points. Now, because 9 coins of tribute normally um, was what the King of Beggars was all about, that would have popped out, it would have given you your 9 coins back, and you would be able to use it immediately. Now you need to use 3 coins of a tribute ability as well as the 9. So, what do you do? You can use Azar. Azar is 3. So if you use Azar and Savola, King of Beggars still pops out, you're refunded for all of that. You can, of course, use some others as well if you really want to, some other tribute abilities. That being something like the Salamandra Hideout, which is uh, one tribute for the Salamandra Abomination. You can, of course, just use Savola and Salamander. Both are nine, so if you use both, you will definitely be triggering the King of Beggars. Now, what else do we have? We also have Siggy. Siggy is going to give us uh, 10 coins. Because for every unique gang category in the starting deck, this increases Siggy's profit. Ours is going to give us 10. So obviously if we over profit, then this card is just going to boost itself. Also, we have a little nifty card here that goes very well with Siggy, which is Caesar. This triggers the profitabilities of adjacent units. It's also a spender, so for every two coins, you can boost an allied unit by two. So if you play Siggy for 10 coins, and let's say you play uh, Savola next to it. Savola being uh, two coins you get. If you play Caesar in between these two cards, it will trigger their profitabilities again. So you'll get another 10 coins from Sigi and another two coins from Savola, which is insane. I don't need to tell you this. Then we have the Flying Redanian that comes out when you have nine coins in your pockets and you pass. This is quite nice, it comes from your deck or the graveyard and is just a great thinning card altogether. We also have some cards that will assure you round one victory, which is pretty important. Because once people get sniff in the nose that you're playing poison, they will want to make sure you don't win round one so you can go into a long round three. Horse on Freak shows some nice commitment. It's a pretty powerful control card, one of the most powerful ones there is. It has a melee ability, so you will be able to damage an enemy unit by two for every two coins. Um, if need be, you can even use your leader ability round one to make sure you win the round. This is entirely normal and acceptable. We also have Sahu here. Sahu will boost himself by a certain number at the end of every turn, depending on how many coins you have in your pocket. So, of course, if you have a pocket with nine coins, you'll get an engine worth three per turn. Pretty nice. Okay, so then we have a bit of thinning. Sewer Raiders have a Horde 4 ability, so you, if you have 4 coins in your pocket, this card will summon the other copy from the deck and place it on this row. That's quite nice, so we get 8 points right there. Okay, and then we've got Smuggle. Smuggle has a Prophet 3, meaning it will give you 3 coins. It will also spawn a Flaming Rose Footman, which is 3 points as well, so that's a 4 for 6, which is pretty nice. Then we have the old tax collector. Now the tax collector is an engine. You play it on the range row. Every turn it will give you one coin. If you reach nine coins, of course, jackpot leader ability will cause this car to boost itself instead, instead of giving you a coin every turn. Then we have the Passiflora Peaches, also engines. If you have four coins, at the end of the turn, this card will boost itself by one. And we also have Bigger. Now, the Bigger is normally a telltale sign that people are playing poison, but it will give you three coins. And when you have the bonded ability, meaning you have two of these on the board, it will give you five coins instead. That's not bad at all for a full provision card. All right, so this is a pretty great deck. We also have the Stratagem, which gives you five coins if you're going first. You can never say no to this one. Perhaps one of my favorite stratagems for a faction specifically. It's, uh, yeah, like I said, I, I won almost every game on stream today. The ones I didn't win, there were only two of them. The one my opponent played quite quite well, he was playing Hyperthin. And the other one I accidentally forgot that was Salamander. If you don't have enough coins, you can just poison a unit. You don't have to poison all the units. So this is an option. If you need to, you can poison a single card instead of them all. So I threw that one. So altogether it was like 100% win rate, minus one, minus another. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this, guys. I'll be posting some games now. Uh, again, if you're not going to play the deck, 
take a look at how it works so that you can avoid losing to it. There are some ways to play around poison, that's for sure. Uh, definitely bleeding around two is always an option. But yeah, I made this deck so that even in a short round you can just play Savola and still win quite comfortably. Uh, I'll be curious to see if anything happens to this deck down the line. It's pretty strong. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you later with some more deck guides. If only I cared. I lack empathy when people start emoting. This is why I mute players and Gwent. True, true. To be fair, I just like emoting back more than I should. Uh, I don't, I don't like first deck in round one because I have too many coins. Unless I'm willing to spend it. No. And they say you don't have to work with coins when playing jackpot. Can't just first deck. You run in trouble when you do that. Bloody good fun. Uh, okay. Um. This is never surviving. Let's play these first. Crimes can be weird in jackpot. Units are typically better. Mm. I agree with you. This person who's playing Gwen with 578,000 followers. I mean, that is amazing. Hmm. Okay, well, let's hope they stick around. Always good to have people come in and give Gwent a shot, especially if they bring in new uh, people. Think you can keep up with the lads? Who am I talking about? Um, oh, they've been playing for seven hours. Yeah, there. Uh, once a syndicate player was emoting every turn, I played Iwata Quarks. <laughs> nice. I mean, they're certainly asking for uh, round control. I might just give it to them. Again, no real reason to overcommit with this deck unless you really have to. I mean, like, of course I can slam Horse Sun in the next turn, but do I want to do that? I have a Neuromancy as well. Could play Soul, technically. Could technically play Soul. That's saying to me somebody doesn't have a spender. I mean, I know what they're playing. They're playing um, Cleaver, believe it or not. They are also playing... Um, you know what? I, I feel like bleeding. They're also playing a uh, tunnel drill. He's Dazzle. Oh. Red coin abuser. Okay.
Oops. Forgot about my little passy. Woof. Come down. It was really good for someone like me who only knows going from Witcher 3. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Mighty Zaku. I'm glad to hear that. I mean, this just motivated me to go harder. I'm gonna be honest here with you guys. How's you doing business with you? Zub, please, this is a children's channel. I feel like committing my... Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I don't care. Okay, then I pass. Now, I'm only doing this because I believe they don't have ja or Sea Jackal, because they could have spent it with Sea Jackal and gotten way more points all this time. So my theory is that they don't have a spender left and that they have gold cards that they don't want to use yet. Zubadu being mean to Rashid. Ah yeah, see what I told you? It's all about the psychological warfare of Gwent. People think it's all about who has the biggest card. No. Not about that. It's about who has the weakest mind. He does have Sea Jackal. Well then this made no sense. What are you doing? Why did you just spend coins with your leader ability? Was that even necessary at all? Didn't they just have enough coins anyway? Now they go over with five coins they didn't use. I'm so confused. We can't see coins. My sincerest apologies. I need to stick it there in OBS, but I... I just can't bother. <laughs> Gonna be honest here. They're just insane. Ah, uh, insane in the membrane. I see. Uh, are they gonna push anyway? Nothing my little Sally boy can't handle though. I'm not gonna lie, I am afraid. I'm a little uneasy. Stays in these woods for good. Got it. Come on, Sally boy. Come on. So, how are things? You go, girl. Give me Siggy, give me Siggy.
No. Oh, yes. The poison is a bit irritating, but it is what it is. So Tia, tell Zupio why you didn't want him to play Borderlands with us. I don't recall saying that, actually. Don't recall it. In Where fact, I recall is. suggesting he might join us, actually. I think it was you who said no, we should rather invite Jess and not Zubadoo. I think those were your exact words. Twisted Edwards, thank you for the follow. <laughs> no, you, you definitely invited Jess. Yeah, tell Zupier why you didn't want him to play Borderlands. <laughs> you thought that was the end and we won, Baron? It's okay. We're gonna win anyway. Did they use any tributes so far? I don't think they did. If not, ooh, they did play more real C. Okay, they might still have a Savola up their sleeve. Then it would have to be Siggy and Savola. Yet, I still think I win. Yes. I hope I win. <laughs> yeah, I win. Up for a game. No experience required. I hope I win. <laughs> what what on earth is left? Tighten our prisoners. No yeah, prisoners. that's what I thought, but it's not enough. Mighty Zaku coming in with a prime. Thank you, Mighty Zaku. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. It's it's a it's a fun game. But sometimes they give words that I don't even know. Other times I get it easily. Um. All right. So let's quickly put this off display capture get my face back there we go Alrighty, it only works once a day i think it's to get everybody involved to do it so hand looks pretty nice pretty nice hand i'd say maybe get rid of caesar for now Ooh, sewer raid is perfect okay uh, so I'm gonna start with my tax collector. I don't know how it began, but it's a lot of fun. They should definitely try and <laughs> make it into an app or something because everybody will want it. Hey Peachy, how are you doing? Curry. Ooh, curry is also a good guess. Oh my goodness. That's some commitment if I've ever seen it. <laughs> wow. Alright. Let's do this first. Hey, Geo Tiger. Hmm. Little half -roo. Oh, how wonderful. You speak our tongue. You speak our tongue. Heels can be filed within seven years. Brings me back to the full picture one word days. So on blue coin I'm not doing all too well. <laughs> They've committed a lot. It's like they know. But yeah, I'm already more a fan of this deck than the uh, previous one, I must say. Because we can also still push with Savola in a short round. 
Dun, 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 dun. Because we have a lot of coins in this deck with Caesar and Siggy. Oh, and somebody asked if it's Witcher weekend tomorrow. It sure is. It sure is. So tomorrow I'd like to play some more Witcher 3, that is. Brings me back to the full picture. Yeah, I see you can guess the word, but can you guess what time it is here? I'm guessing it's extremely, extremely late. Potentially like 2 o'clock in the morning or something. 3 o'clock in the morning, maybe. Juno, they're taking everything out. So, what does this mean for us? Is this a pass? We're still pretty good to go, especially if they decide to bleed us. Committing more is asking for trouble. I hate your time by 15 minutes. Uh, well, right here it's um, 15 minutes to 1 in the afternoon. Luisi to Salazar, thank you for the follow. I mean, this hand isn't actually too bad. It's just not what I want right now. Ah, beautiful. It's raining, but I'm still very warm today. Mushy Truffle. Hey, Dream Boy, how are you doing? Okay, I need to be careful what I go with here. Waiting for last interview, yeah? Okay, I'm actually all right with that. No, probably have to go with this actually. I'm no I'm an there we go. Nothing else I really want to play. Hopefully we draw a good hand. Go into a long round with Defender. Take out most of the cards with Poison and Horse Sun, Freak Show, nice. And then go with the, um, our last play. Hmm, okay, so we have either Salamander or Roland. Or Siggy, not, not amazing. Hey, Jorganu, how are you doing? They already played Morkvark, so that's their tool removal done and dusted. Last time I had a job interview and was given a test to do, so I had to pass this test because they want to talk to me in an hour. 
All right. Well, that sounds exciting. I hope it goes well. I hope it goes very well. Don't stress too much. There will be three people, that's rather intense. So what, what's happening? Opponent is deciding, oh, they're gonna run out of time. I guess they wanted to do that? So what, they don't have any other cards they want to play right now? Interesting. <laughs> now my only problem is I can't actually afford to get Salamander. If anything, I'm likely gonna get Siggy. And set this up now. So now I can play Saul. I can also go with Caesar and start boosting the other Scarab. Point being that the Flying Rodanian will keep coming back if it's the smallest card on the board. And Maxidron, thanks for the follow. Well, let us know how it went, Dream Boy. Let us know how it went. Hey, Arzogard. Thank you for the gift. I love it. Um, I couldn't buy it myself. I was struggling with the GOG overlay or else I'd have to go on GOG's website. But uh, yeah, it's amazing. I love the Chinese New Year boards. Okay, time for... Saul. Yeah, so now if we fail to set up our engine with Savola, ach, with Salamander, we still have Savola as an option. So I think that's pretty awesome. We definitely want to go with Siggy and Caesar, that's for sure. The Peach Pirate giving me a GG. Wow, <laughs> so kind of him. <laughs> My friend is so confused, <laughs> taking a long time to decide. Clearly, not having drawn their cards, or else Carl would have popped out by now. They've already committed two strong cards. I must say, I'm starting not to like the, um, how can I put it? Starting not to like the package, the discard package in Scalaga. It's very binary. You will not stand in the way of my master's plans. I won't let you. Whee! Feels good, man. Now, they've already committed Junode. Trigvi won't do much damage to Savola's Fright, and a six at most. They don't have Yurden. They better not have Yurden. I don't think you have Yurden in an Onslaught deck. It doesn't make too much sense. Okay. It's like they're waiting for my horse on Freak Show to come out.
Masquerade Ball is dead. Uh, yeah, Masquerade Ball is a bit... Uh, it's not that strong at the moment. I don't think people will be playing Masquerade Ball right now. Fukus, yeah. Into Morgvarg. Alright. Not, not the worst, to be fair. Not the worst. Now, 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 let's see. It doesn't really matter all that much. Premium grade won't find any better. For somebody who's playing onslaught, I haven't seen a lot of uh, a lot of things I need to be fearing here. What what are they holding on to? Am I streaming Witcher Three? Yes, I am. Interesting. They may have a heat wave, but again, it wouldn't really make sense in this deck. Are you confident you'll win the Novigrad Gwent tournament? Novigrad Gwent tournament? Which one is that? I don't think I'm entering any tournament. It's <laughs> a lot of points. It's 18 points plus 4 is 22. It's a ridiculous amount of points. Are you talking about Gwent Finity Wars? I... Yeah, I... We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. That's not yet. Jenga... Okay. It's a bit close, it's a bit close. Let's see, so they're gonna get six points here, which puts them on 46. I mean, I don't know what's really left for them to have much. Verification. Okay. Uh, a heat wave will hurt. GG. Interesting. So they'll put a lot of provisions into um, toll removal? L a lot of damage? I don't get it. How about Siggy? Huh? How about uh, Siggy's Mund Diextra, who is apparently a Northern Realms card? Ah, another pirate. You've got the heart of an unscrit. I am from South Africa. Hmm. Okay, let's say you see you real quick.
This is the best image you're gonna get, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. If anybody wants to buy me a, a $2,000 camera, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> that is a joke. I will not accept your $2,000 camera. It says, Gwent's like politics, just more honest. Interesting, I never knew it said anything about Gwent. to go back to scouring twitch for a campaign have a great stream and i'll be in touch real soon i love to hear that woody good luck i, I can't wait to hear back end. from you with uh everything not getting away of my axe. looking very forward to it yes i know what the dimple is Life Gwen cards, yeah, it's one of my uh, one of my coolest possessions. DJ Seneca, not according to old Gwen, it isn't. Can we even get ahead? We cannot. Do they know this? Is the question. Because they're not sure whether they should be using their mask of Uruboros or not. You think this is a good matchup for us? I sure hope it is. CDPR ever mentioned making physical cards? I mean, they they made those physical cards, to be fair. I think um, the problem would just be that they'd have to change it constantly. And current funny joke. They would constantly have to be changing the cards as the uh, as they change. I actually prefer when I do that, gives me time to relax and enjoy the victory. <laughs> of becoming an actress, I cannot act. I assure you of this. You do not want to see me try. <laughs> um, are they going to push? If they do, maybe get rid of the beggar. Uh, yes, I have all the Gwen cards. <laughs> Bragging time. <laughs> Look at all these beautiful cards. Uh, four, thank you for the follow. can be filed within seven years. Gwent cards or Witcher 3 Gwent cards? I mean, this is Gwent Gwent, but it's Witcher 3. Well, it was back in the day when Gwent was... had four factions. Uh, Twitch Coley, thanks for the follow. This is gonna be worth a lot someday. Oh yeah? And Vanilla Doll. The OG Gwen cards, yeah. 
No, it's uh, it's pretty awesome, I must say. I I never bought it. I feel like they're BMing at this point. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's being done on purpose. But maybe I'm just paranoid. Now you have to find someone else's physical cards. Yes, we'll bring all our physical cards to the next meetup and take it from there. Huh. Okay. Um, they're on seven now. I mean, no real rush to get rid of that, if I'm gonna be honest. I mean, if, if I draw anything, it's probably Horsun, but that takes away our ability dr to draw Roland later, which is a problem. Um, probably going to go with the Passiflora Peaches. You got a they might just pass. Hey Lionheart, good morning. How are you doing? It's gonna go up like Bitcoin. <laughs> Bitcoin is very down right now. I know it because I have a, a third of my savings in it. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> so they're pushing. Okay, interesting. This is fine. I'm almost prepared to just play Azar if I'm gonna be honest. Maybe first we have to go with Siggy. Or Seoraidus. We take it slow, take it slow. Which is your favorite character in The Witcher 3? Look, I still have to play the DLCs and then I can get back to you on that. Not sure if that's a good idea. Well, let's put it like this. It was all of my savings at one point and I made so much profit that it's now a third of my savings because I took everything out. Um, so that's merely what's left. I... 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 Uh, <laughs> I made a lot with Bitcoin. Um, I, I used it for two to three years and it, it went very well for me. But I want to take it out now after the next uh, peak because I need the money to go study abroad. So having it stuck in crypto isn't the best option. Heart of Stone is so good, and um, the other one, something something blood. Tia's a billionaire? No, I'm not. I, without a scholarship, uh, I still don't have enough. This will deplete all my money, but um, we'll see how it goes. We'll show you some Bloody wine, yes. Stone. I have enough to study, it's just that living abroad is a lot of money. But uh, after this year, I'll have enough. I am working a lot. The Pike's king of the Ponta! The Pike, damn it! Morkvarg is a problem, isn't it? Now that I think about it. Could you explain the headset around your neck? It's hurting my my ears. I don't know why. <laughs> Whenever an enemy takes damage, boost self by one. Wait, damage? Um. No, I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh. My fist takes purest tears, purest in all noble ways. Azar Javed time. Uh, they can easily remove it. Easily. They have two leader charges left.
see no role in it for you. I have a plan. I have a plan. Oh, these are also salamandra. Hell yeah. Okay, so I can technically boost one of them and should be fine. But it will, it will just get killed. Seven. Oh, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I and Tio till things will follow. I'm planning to go to Edinburgh, Scotland, but if I don't get in, I'll have to go to England or the Netherlands or wherever. Okay, so I have a plan. Okay, it's a very elaborate plan, but I have a plan. I just want you all to know this. I hope this works. And then we poisoned our goop. Do you have poison left? Yes. Alrighty. We'll turn the sea rat. Rat. So it was pretty important that we kept our leader because I knew if we used King of Beggars now we would essentially be left with nothing to get Zavola in a short round. So with a Neuromancy we can now go ahead and play Fistic Trafficker, we can poison Dagu, 29, do this, and that's it. Um, neuropsychology. You can bring me on tour. You assumed it was round three. <laughs> Do you not look at the little numbers at the side? Understandable. Who needs them numbers? No, dwarves do not qualify for childcare tax relief. Dwarves do not qualify for childcare tax relief. Bitch, I know all about the rat experiments. There are so many experiments with rats. It's ridiculous. The poor rats, how they have suffered. It's been a long, hard road, hasn't it? Yeah. Bet you don't want to kill the flying Rodanian, do ya? I bet you they hardly surpass this 